Um, but you know, I sort of picked people who I thought could 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 you know bring bring something to certain songs. And I think the strongest, uh, not the strongest stuff, but my my husband, my now my new husband, uh, Brad Alberta, who made the first record, did a lot of this record as well. And you know, because I think he has a very strong understanding of me, and because. We can fight in the studio all all we want, <laughs> and people will just leave. <laughs> so I was thinking, will you well, well, you mentioned him. I think you married in September. Yeah. Um, I think meeting him, in retrospect, was maybe a turning point for you because he gave you his studio of, on 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 the first album and said to you, "Well, you can record the album." And then yeah, he was very helpful, you know, um, and and also it was for the. For maybe for the first time, you know. I mean, I guess if you were to look at the psychology of it, you know, a lot of the songs on the first record are about unrequited love and liking someone who doesn't like you back, and all these things, being lonely and lost. And you know, I I I met Brad and I liked him, and he was very warm and very kind to me, and that was really nice. It was, it was finally a softness in my life, maybe. And then also, it wasn't about Kate Nana or Rufus or Loudon. You know, it was not based on any of that. And so it was really a cocoon and an ability that we were able to make the record. He, did have, he has a studio, and that was really helpful so I could, you know, pay him back later and things like that. You know, he was very willing to help me out in that way and to, and to um, uh, uh, really give me an opportunity to... Um, just finally make a record because it took a long time before uh, you know and people maybe, were waiting and maybe just be yourself music wise be myself music wise and not be in the studio with you know a producer who wants to go you know uh, well let's uh, change this and uh, what kind of a record are we making here you know which always sort of um, scares me I, I, I want producers to bring something to the songs but I really just want uh, to, to the music but I really want the songs to be served and that it, you know, this was not about me, you know, trying to sound like, you know, Arcade Fire and going like, you know, let's sell a lot of records and let's be more hipster and things like that. Look, I, 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 I wish I knew how to do that. I don't know how to do that. All I know is how to write the song. We start playing it, get some really great musicians or some interesting people and see what's feeling good and what's sounding good and let it go there and let it go oh, you know, let's put a synthesizer on it, let's put some horns on it. And then all of a sudden, you're just in the studio and you're not affected by what's hip and happening in the music scene right now or, you know, are these songs too slow or should we, you know, it's just about, uh, it just becomes about the songs, you know. And was it hard then, or hard? When, when, did, when did the love came then? Was it before the recording or was it afterwards and in between these two albums? With between, Brad? Yeah, because I, I can imagine. It was, a tr you know, with Brad it was always there, but, you know, it's very, it's, you know, love and work is, and yeah, uh, yeah. artists, it's so oftentimes very, you know, it's complicated and tumultuous and difficult and, and you know, but we've, been together for a long time and been through a lot of things, been through making records and been on the road. And if we can survive that, then God damn it, we can get married and survive anything. <laughs> but did you, did you, well, did you, did you, uh, well, did you say so? Uh, well, did you, did you agree on maybe not uh, working together too much on, on the songs now? Or how, how, oh, how, I, I, how, yeah, I mean, the songs are go? mine. The songs are mine. I write the songs. And I think, obviously, you know, it's about you know, it's about me, and the, and and in the sense that I think the uh, the record is about me too. So you can have different producers, and you can have all the bells and whistles that you want. But the thing, the the the, the concept and the theme of the record is the you know my voice and and the guitar and and the songwriting, and that's the thing that gels it together, and that's the thing that I think any producer, including Brad should be tapping into, okay. you know, and because that's the most honest thing about it and the most truthful thing. And so it's really about getting out of the way of the lyrics and out of the songs, but still having, you know, fun with it. Uh, because it, I, I don't, a lot of these songs are so serious and kind of intense and dark and blah, blah, blah. I don't want it to be that intense that it's like a, you know, slip my wrist record and, oh, I gotta die. You know, it has to have some sense of humor. It has to have, you know, a funny little synth sound here and 
you know, a, a moment where you want to tap your foot, you know, because I think that that's an interesting juxtaposition. 